Hey third grade, Mrs. Neal here. We're going to have a silly little project today. And it is called Alien Glyphs. And a glyph is a special picture that you follow directions according to what the answer is to a question. And so none of these are going to be exactly alike. This is my goofy one right here um, that's on the screen. And so I'm going to tell you what the, what the questions are. And your job is to uh, draw your alien on the paper as we go along. You'll probably have to pause between questions, and that's okay. I'm fine with that. And, um, and I hope you have a good time. So when I see these later, I should be able to figure out a lot about you just by looking at your picture. So let's get started. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a pencil and a piece of paper and something to color with. And this video, of course. So to start with, please put your name on your paper. And would you write your teacher's name on the back as well? Let's get started. Here's question number one. Question number one is, are you a boy or a girl? Now, if you're a boy, I want your alien to have a rectangle head, either going up and down or sideways. And if you're a girl, your alien should have an oval head going either up or down. Question two. What's your favorite season? If it's winter, draw a triangle body. If it's spring, you're going to draw a little cloud shape. If it's summer, you'll draw a blob. And if it's fall, you're going to draw kind of a weird pointy firecracker shape. Question three, arms and legs. How many people live in your house? Draw that many arms and legs. Now let me give you an example. There are five people that live in my house. So on my picture, I drew two arms and three legs for a total of five arms and legs all together. Number four, eyes. How many pets do you have? Make that many eyes plus one. So if you have zero pets, Obviously, easy math, zero plus one would be one. So if you have zero pets, your alien is going to have one eyeball. There are four pets that live in my house. We have two dogs, one hamster, and one leopard gecko. So that would make four plus one. So my alien has five eyeballs. Now, for the end, you can just get creative with the rest. Notice we didn't say anything about noses or mouths or colors or antennae or anything like that. So, just for kicks, let's see if you can figure out from my picture. Here's my alien. All right, let's see what you can figure out about me. Okay, my alien, I already gave it away on the arms and legs that I have five people in my family. Look at his body. Can you figure out what my favorite season is by the body? You should be able to figure it out. Okay, if you know it, say it when I say three. Ready? One, two, three. Say it. Okay, if you said fall, you are correct. Awesome. Okay, now obviously I'm a girl, so that meant my alien would have a circle head. So, I hope you had a lot of fun making your alien glyph. Um, this is something that you could make up a glyph of your own. Just make up different questions to ask people. Um, you, they kind of have to be number questions or yes or no questions. So, um, I would love to see these when you're finished. So, when you're finished, please put your name on the back. And have your teacher put her name on the back as well and clip them and put them in my box. I need lots of stuff for the art show, guys. Um, so if you have something special, 
that you are so proud of that you would love to turn in for the art show, please put it in the box that's outside my room that says art show and make sure your first and last name and your teacher's name are on your artwork. Now I don't want coloring pages and I don't want something that you did in five minutes. I want something that's going to make me say wow and something that you after you did it you thought to yourself I can't even believe I did something this amazing. So give me stuff for the art show guys. Um, I appreciate um, you turning your stuff in. Why don't you make it something that you would be so mad if if I messed it up by borrowing it. I promise I won't. So something that is your very 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 best work. And the art show is going to be on May 13th so um, I need some time to get that put up. Well I will be quiet now. I'll let you spend some more time coloring your alien and I can't wait to see them. Have a great day. Bye now.